Well, this, uh, this is a good analysis. Now, we know that our partners of the United States have asked for, for a kind of uh, pause, a break for a couple of months in the issue of digital taxation. Uh, Europe uh, had a proposal on the table two years ago uh, that had been amended in many ways so that Luxembourg could uh, eventually support it, uh, even if it were only on a European basis, uh, only if there were a sunset clause. But obviously what is much better is to achieve a result where we have a level playing field. That means where all OECD countries participate. Digital taxation and digital economy obviously encompasses the whole globe. And if one region does it alone, it will create conflicts and, and, and problems with, with other areas of the world. And uh, in fact, the United States has not signaled that they are not ready to discuss that anymore. They have just uh, asked for a break. So we should use that break to prepare the ground for a level playing field solution. Minister, if you get elected as president of the Eurogroup, would you actually support plans to reform the Stability and Growth Pact so then the deficit and debt targets would actually be increased so they can reflect the realities of the Eurozone economies? Well, uh, there is, uh, in the Stability and Growth Pact, there is a, a escape clause which was uh, triggered for the first time in history uh, during this crisis. And in the same way as we've seen uh, with the COVID crisis, when we decided to lock down in, and partial lockdown in many countries of the globe, it's easier to put the Stability and Growth Pact in brackets. It will be more difficult to enact it again. And obviously, the time between now and when we're going to enact the Stability and Growth Pact uh, must be needed to do uh, a reflection I think a, a discussion on how the Stability and Growth Pact will look like in the future is inevitable. But obviously it needs to be done in a reasonable way. And that means uh, keeping in mind the national responsibility for having a good and healthy public finances on the one hand, and on the other hand the need for more solidarity. Now this solidarity is uh, being uh, increased right now with the recovery fund and the other measures of 540 billion I mentioned before. So the two things go hand in hand and so a discussion of how the plan will look like in the future is inevitable.